Hello everybody, my name is Joseph from Farstone Technology Incorporated and in this video I will show you guys how to back up your entire computer hard drive with Total Recovery Pro 7. The first thing we need to do is open up the program. To open Total Recovery Pro, you can go ahead and double click the icon on the desktop or you can navigate through the start menu and open the program from there. The first thing you should see after opening the program is the loading screen. It shouldn't take that long to actually open the program. After the program has loaded, the user interface will show up, allowing you access to all of the program's functions. As you can see in the main console, you will see that there are three options under the Quick Start menu. One click backup, which allows you to backup your computer with minimum settings, file backup, which allows you to back up specific files and folders and back up computers, the purpose of this video today. The options to do file backup and backup computers can also be found in the backup tab. In the main console, you will want to select backup computers. After selecting backup, you will be given two options, create a new backup or incremental backup. For this video, we will show you how to create a new complete backup. The first thing you will need to do is name the backup. We will name this backup, Backup. After you name your backup, clicking next will bring you to a screen which will show all the drives that are on your computer. On this computer we have two drives, Drive 0 and Drive 1. The drive we want to backup is Drive 0 because it contains our Windows partition. After selecting which hard drive you want to back up, you will need to select which partitions to back up. Total Recovery 7 Pro allows you to back up hard drives without backing up every partition on that hard drive. After selecting which partitions you want to back up, go ahead and click Next. The screen that will show up is where you want to place the backup file. In this case, we will be placing our backup in Drive D. Drive D is an external USB drive, however you can place the backup on any partition that's not being backed up in this job, or you can also place it on backup CDs or DVDs as well. Click Next once you've selected the destination for the backup. After you've clicked Next, you will be prompted whether you want to make the destination hard drive also a boot device. In this case, we will select No, however, if you do want it to be a boot device, select Yes. In the next screen, you will see five options in the schedule settings. There's daily, weekly, monthly, one time only, and start now. Daily, weekly, and monthly will allow you to schedule an incremental backup at those times to update the full backup you will be doing now. One time only and start now will create a full backup. However, start now will allow you to edit the schedule settings later. Once you've selected the schedule you want, go ahead and click next. You will then be asked to verify if everything is correct. If everything looks good, go ahead and click Next. Now our part is done. All that's left is waiting for Total Recovery 7 Pro to finish backing up the computer. For a normal hard drive of about 250 gigabytes, it usually takes about one hour. In this demo, we had an 8 gigabyte hard drive and it took 10 minutes. I know one hour seems like a long time, however, backing up a hard drive is a long process and Total Recovery 7 Pro is actually one of the fastest in the market. As you can see from the video, it does not take a long time nor is it very complicated to create a backup in Total Recovery 7 Pro. One of its key selling points is its power but simplicity. And that concludes our tutorial for creating a full image backup using Total Recovery 7 Pro. If you would like to learn more about Total Recovery 7 Pro or learn about any of our other products, visit www.farstone.com. My name is Joseph Hotchkiss and thank you for watching this tutorial.